I'm Tammy Sutherland and we're looking ahead to tomorrow's Toronto Police Services Board meeting where there's expected to be several people attending speaking out against carding and one of them is civil rights lawyer Peter Rosenthal. Right now I know that you're expected to be there tomorrow. Tell me a little bit about your main concerns with carding the way it stands now. Well, carding the way it stands now and the way it's stood for years now and unfortunately been allowed to stand for years harasses people without any real benefit. The total benefit is very small and the harassment and police community relations harms are extensive and extraordinary. The Toronto Police Services Board had a report presented to them last meeting that they commissioned and paid for by two criminology professors who studied the issue and came back with a clear report indicating that it's harmful no matter even if you do it very politely and nicely it's still harmful because people feel they're being occupied and being watched in ways that make them very uncomfortable it's still harmful no matter how it's done they know that now from a very clear study and they're not doing anything about it and i'm hoping that tomorrow they'll have to face up to the fact that this report means carding should end but have Toronto Police indicated what they're going to do with the data in the report saying that this is more harm than good? Well, what they said at the last meeting, and you could read the minutes to see, is we're going to see how the report evolves over time and use this as part of our research and evaluating it. But the fact is that this report is complete. It doesn't require anything to evolve over time. There's no further study to be done. There have been very extensive study done and it's over and they just ignored that in my view. Okay, the provincial regulations, we know that they have been uh, put into place. There was consultations behind that as well. Do you think that helps at all? It makes it a very confusing situation, the provincial regulations. They're very hard to understand for lawyers, much less police officers. But they would restrict it to some extent, but it still won't undo the harms, as the Duke Gartner report makes clear. And what are some of the harms that the report talks about? Well, the basic harms are people feeling that they're being watched in a way that does, is not justified. And that makes the individuals feel that they don't want to be part of any operation like that. It makes people not cooperate with the police because they resent the police. And it makes police community relations terrible. And I, it's hard to understand why the Toronto Police Force has persisted for all these years, in spite of all the deputations that have been made, in spite of all the concerns, in spite of all the racism. But they persist because officers say they want more surveillance power. Well, officers always want the power, but civilians have to stop it. And the Police Services Board led by Mayor Tory, have to take responsibility and stop the carding. Okay, all right, thank you very much again. That's a human rights lawyer Peter Rosenthal and the Toronto Police Services Board meeting will be held tomorrow at police headquarters starting at 1 p.m.